Hi everybody, welcome to another Ableton Live 9 tutorial. This is tutorial number 5. Grooves! Hey! Alright. Well, let's jump right on it. Um, grooves are the sort of human element of music where things don't quite fall on the beat. Let's just consider our national anthem for a moment. I mean, if you're here in the USA, and if you're not, well, hello, um, siblings of the world. So here it is. Right. So I picked it um, not because I love it or hate it, but simply because I thought, if there's going to be a song that's kind of right on the beat, this is going to be it. And if you look at this, it's pretty close to being right on the beat. And a groove is something that is maybe off the beat a little bit. And, and so a groove is sort of a measure of how far things are off the beat and how much the volume fluctuates as you go through each measure. So, in order to introduce a groove, I realized I didn't really have anything pre-recorded of my own that would do that, because I tend to collect MIDI. So I just actually um, recorded myself kind of playing, and uh, that would be this. And um, So I recorded myself playing this uh, here, and we'll just play it a little bit and listen to it. Let me turn it up. Okay, the word groove does not suddenly spring to mind, but um, the one thing I was very successful at was not playing on the beat lines. I was actually um, had my headphones on and was listening to the music that I didn't know well and playing it on the computer keyboard. Now, what this didn't do is give us a very good um, change in volume. So I'm going to just manually adjust these to, uh, well actually here, that's um, closest to beat one, and then we'll go downish, 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 downish. Actually, I, I bet I can do this. And pull all these down ish and then beat three will be back up ish and then you get the idea I'm just fooling around here so I pull these all down ish and these can go up Sorry, this is not the most exciting thing in the world, but you'll get the idea in a minute. So, again, uh, well, let's let's hear it. Oops, can't do that. So, there we uh, go. I will be the first person to admit that groove does not spring to mind here. But what do we have? I'm just going to stop this. Um, we have things that are off the line, extremely human, and a good variation in volume there. So um, now we have our notes here, and I'm just going to uh, select them all so I can see them. And now control click on it, and you say extract groove. It sounds a little Austin Powers, doesn't it? Like extract mojo or something, and more or less, maybe that is um, what we're doing. So, um, so now that we have that groove extracted, well, what do we do with it? Well, there's a couple ways we could deal with it. One is we could then go over to our uh, USA clip here and come all the way down here to the corner and you see where it says groove. You say, oh, groove. 
Well, it doesn't have any groove. It just doesn't have any applied to it. And look at that. There's the groove that we just extracted. And we go ahead and we put it on there. And now, when we play our USA thing, You know, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but if you actually look down here, you'll see that there's suddenly, it's like bong and then a bunch of low notes, and then bong and a bunch of low notes, bong and a bunch of low notes, just like we did to the group we were working on. And it sounds like the person that's playing this is slightly drunk, maybe not too drunk. Um, so we'll go back to um, no groove and listen to it. Uh, I'll turn it up a little. Oops, that might be kind of high. Here we go. Right. And then we'll put my special Brzezinski groove on it and play it again. So it's a it's a subtle thing, I'll be the first to admit it, but there it is. So we can actually just make a groove by recording it, extract it, and then put it onto another clip. And in fact, you can put it onto any clips that you pull up down here. Um, I'll just pick uh, this one here and play it. Oh, that's the same thing. How about this one? Kind of quiet. How about this one? Okay, funny. So let's take this one and we'll come over here now and put that Brzezinski beat on it and try it again. Really Brzezinski groove. Again, kind of hard to tell because the change in, in talent is so great. But you do actually see this sort of repetitive thing going on here now that would remind you of our piece. So let's go back to the USA thing here. And you'll notice when you come over here to groove again, there's something that says there's none, and then there's the one we extracted. And is that really all we have? Well, we could open the groove pool. So let's just open that. And we get... Um, this window here, and there is our little Brzezinski groove in there. Is that all the groove we have around here? Well, if you open your user library now, you'll be able to open, here's all the things you have under there, you can open the grooves, and you don't have anything because you don't have any grooves saved. I would have thought that my groove would have gone there, but it hasn't yet. However, you will notice that if you go under Packs, when you open the core library, and when you look down here, you see Swing and Groove. And that really does sound much more like the ticket. And now we have Hip Hop, Latin, Percussion, Logic, Notator, Quantize, Rock. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. We'll look under Latin percussion, and uh, we can also um, preview them. So let's say here a, a bolero melodico. I'm not sure what would happen, but we can try it. And then if we want to try these things out, we just drag them right into here. And... Uh, Mmm, these bombas are okay. We've got I think this bomba This one has a lot of variation in it. I'll pull that one down there and see what we can do with that. And 
Let's see what else we've got in there. A rumba bongo. Rumba pinta. Rumba shaker. Let's try that. So let's see um, what our different grooves sound like with our uh, national anthem here. So we'll go ahead and do this. And Okay. That's with the Brzezinski on it. And then now, underneath our groove, we can try Bolero Melodico and try it again. Kind of subtle. How about, <laughs> how about the Bomba Congas? And let's let it play there. So it seems to have a pretty subtle effect on it. And when things have a subtle effect, I start looking for ways to mess with them even more. So I'm going to pull this window open a little further and see what's going on here. So what we've got is, this thing's messing with the timing, but it's not messing with the velocity at all. So let's turn that up, the velocity. Oh, I hear it changing. So now it's kind of feathering up and down, more or less, like that bomba. We have it up at 100%. And then, um, there's no quantizing on, so let's see what... So, it's kind of hard to tell if that's making it straighter or less straight, but now we see the one that's probably really going to make a difference here, and that is the random. So I don't know if you can hear that, it's getting um, just a little more loose. It's like uh, like the person's been playing it for too long, or maybe we've been listening to it too long. Let's try another one and see if... Uh, uh, actually, I don't know if that... Here, we have to actually select it down here. And then... And let's try changing, in some cases, I think that, whoa, yeah, it definitely changes it up a little bit. Anyway, that's just kind of a short introduction to how you can start getting your uh, beats or music to have a little bit more feel to them. And that's grooves. There's your groove pool, and we've learned how to extract them and put them in here. So I think that's all for now. I'm just going to go on listening to this and enjoying my evening, and um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.